What is happening, BC Spirits? BC Spirits, Spirit of Day number 272. Whew, getting close to that 300 mark real quick. Um, today, I'm surprised I haven't done this one. I'm going to say that a lot this week. I've said that a lot this last two weeks. I'm surprised I haven't done this one. I'm surprised. You know what I'm surprised about? I'm surprised that I haven't done this one. Um, but it is the Empress 1908, and I'm not sure why I haven't done it. I've had it in my back bar forever, um, but I haven't done it. Now, everybody knows this brand now. Empress 1908, it's in like 48 states across the US. It's in Europe. It's everywhere. It outsold Hendrix Gin last year in BC. That is Incredible to say the least to go up against a macro brand like that and beat the case for case mind blown epic effort um, comes from Victoria Distillers out in Sydney um, Originally then well, they still make Victoria gin and the oak and stuff like that But this is really their flagship brand now um, Named after the Empress here in Victoria Empress was built in 19 and opened in 1908 They had a tea in the tea room using butterfly pea flower Which is a very special flower that changes color with acidity and that's where this all came out of now Overall, the, the, the actual product itself is not very indifferent to um, Victoria Gin. Um, it's very, very similar in the flavor profile and stuff. It just has that added pea flower. And look at that color. Wow, I'm colorblind. That's still vivid. And so when you touch it with a little bit of tonic, it changes color up. Um, if you haven't seen this or tried this, you've been obviously living under a rock for the last like three and a half years. On the nose, big citrus, subdued juniper, not anything too crazy. But really just a really nice classic New Western gin. It definitely fell into it was one of the very first craft gins. and Well, one of the very first gins in BC um, when it first sort of really blew up. Um, and so this is something that is very, very interesting. Definitely flows that New Western, which at that time, Aviation was still a small brand. New Western was just starting out. Definitely follows that sort of New Western style. On the palate, creamy, wonderful texture, good, good juniper structure, but it, the juniper is not in your face, go to hell sort of style. It's very subdued, still earthy. I wouldn't say it's piney the way that traditional New Westerns are. Definitely an earthy juniper, but then those bright high notes of the citrus and that sort of thing really just come together and tie it together. It's like an earthy juniper, that bright citrus and everything else in the middle just makes it a really nice lengthy palette. Um, if you haven't got yourself a bottle, try it. Everybody's got it. Their social media is epic. Uh, Empress 1908. Um, thanks as always for the support, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.